You should hear me now. You should hear me now. I'm waiting for some confirmation. I didn't check the microphone. I'm waiting for the confirmation. Yeah, okay. So I want to start, guys. I start again. I was already pissed off. Now I will do it again. Enough is enough. Basta. I'm done with it. It is too much. It is too much. It's already since 2006 that I started to pick one battle. There are so many battles in the world and you can have to and you can choose whatever battle you want. You can go to all the mistakes done to Juventus VR. You can choose whatever you want. I started a battle since 2006 and unfortunately I was not able to speak too much because I was not owning a, a Juve channel. I had not opportunity to speak but over is over. I choose the battle that I want to stop with especially Gazzetta dello Sport brainwashing people brainwashing the anti-Juve community, brainwashing them and feeding them with false accusation about our beloved Juventus. We are on the papers for every single thing with big pages, big pages that are already kind of accusations. And then what is the consequence of that before waiting for a real sentence, before waiting for a punishment or not, before knowing if really we were guilty or not? What happened that in the memory of the anti-Juve world, and I can tell you that we are surrounded by enemies they are going to these pages they are going to these pages and they repeat as Juventus is robbery Juventus is a they are thieves Juventus are manipulated Juventus they are taking drugs du Juventus whatever you want it has to stop basta we will expose you because this has to stop at a certain moment I am pissed off with all these kind of things so we will speak about Plus Valenza will also show that Juventus, they defended themselves because they were false accused, because the clowns that they are, they went on transfer market to understand if the value of a player was correct or not. Transfer market done by a guy that is behind his computer and that is doing kind of values that he wants to do. How in the world is it possible that transfer market knows the value of a player that is playing in third division? It is what it is, guys. We will speak about that. I don't want to do a video of three hours because I'm pissed off. Eh, I am pissed off. We missed the grande intro, Beppe, on fire. I am on fire. Ciao, uh, Thomas. Ciao, Temporary Peace. Ciao, David, who's saying ciao, Beppe. There is a feeling that they simply do not have a job. And of course they have a job. Of course they have a job. That's a wrong take that you are telling me, David. Of course they have a job and they have a mission. They have a mission. It's to destroy Juventus. They have a clear mission and they are doing their job or they try to do their job the best they can. And it's not only Gazzetta, because uh, Gazzetta is uh, putting false accusation, he's putting Juventus on front of the paper. You think that I forgot? i doing the front pages every single morning of the three big pages in Italy and even more. I look at the international pages. I have everything. I already have them. I found them like in an instant. I will show you. I will show you after a little intro to, under, to let you know what happened. Of course, uh, they are doing their job and they try to, to put us back. So instead, of working on the real problems, stadiums in Italy, infrastructure, instead of working on the youth development, because then it's a Juventus again that is accused, instead of working on the fact that Italy is not in the World Cup for the second time in a row, in, instead of working on that, they are working to destroy what is working or what was working. Disgusting. Dexter is saying Juventus will never die. They have sent us in hell in 2006. They succeeded because we we were not there. We have to stop. Juventini, we have to stop to fight each other. We have to make one. We have to defend our team. Stop. Stop. Always fighting Juventus versus Juventus. Juventini versus Juventini. It has to stop. We can, of course, have different opinions. You like the shirt. You don't like the shirt. You like Allegri. You don't like Allegri. You like Rabiot. You don't like Rabiot. We can have different opinions. That's beauty of football. But there is one thing where we all have to stay together is defending our club until the end because if we don't defend our club they will destroy it they will try they will use like yenas they are all 
all Yenas waiting, waiting, putting negativity into Juventus. They are feeding that so that we will fight each other and we will not be alert to what's happening around us. Them putting us on the front page. So what happening, guys? Just explaining you what one thing because Matthew is asking what happened. I will explain you for the people that do not know. Ciao, Marian. Ciao, JTA. Ciao, MLG. Guys, I defend Juventus is long. Look, look at the logo on the on the cup. Mm. I will explain you what happened. Plus Valenza, what does that mean? It's profit, okay? When you buy a player for, let's say, 100 million, let's say, make it easy, 100 million, over five years, over five years, that means that in your books, you are paying him 20 million a year. Not for the player, but you are in your book financially paying back these 100 million in five years, 20, 20, 20, 20, okay? That's one thing. If after two years, you already paid 20 and 20, that means that he still has a value of 60 million euro in your books. That doesn't mean that the player has a value of 60 million. It means that you still have 60 million to repay. If you are able to sell him for 60 million, that means that you will have a profit of zero. If you sell him for 40 million, you are in negative of minus 20 million. If you sell him for 80 million, you are doing a profit of 20 million, as easy as that. Pogba, you buy him for zero, you sell him for 100, you have a profit of 100 million. As easy as that. This is profit. Now, we know that Juventus, like a lot of other clubs, a million clubs, they decide to buy some players to sell other players. This is calcio, this is football, this is business. They try also to let their uh, youth academy work so that they have a maximum of profit. Because of course, if you are selling these young players from your team that you didn't buy, everything that you are selling is profit. If you have a young kid and you sell him for 5 million euro, it's 5 million profit. Is it a lot? According to these big numbers of Pogba, absolutely not. But it's still a profit, especially if you are not able to sell players like Ramsey, because nobody wants to pay a lot of money for Ramsey. So you are obliged at a certain moment to do some profit and you sell young players, also other players. Moisken was sold to Everton for profit reason. Uh, Spinazzola was sold for profit reason. Cancelo, Danilo swap profit reason. Juventus was obliged to do this kind of profit transaction. Why? Because we had a lot of things that we had to spend. We had a Cristiano Ronaldo. The money has to enter from somewhere. And this is profit. Nothing wrong with that. Is there a rule about profit that exists about the value of a player? Because that is what it's all about. Values of players that are not correct. That means that they were investigating, especially on Juventus, for the fact that Juventus was changing the price, the value of a player. For example, you have a player that is probably uh, a value of 5 million euro, Juventus is selling him for 10, 15 million euro. If you do like that, that means that you have a bigger profit because uh, the difference is bigger. That's all the the case of plus valenze because Federazione Italiana Gioco Calcio they were actually accusing Juventus to inflate the price of all these players they were there with a lot of people a lot of uh, players that were sold by Juventus they investigated one by one one by one they watched how many they were sold like Odero 20 million to Sampdoria like the other player like the other player a lot of young anonymous players, Portanova, and so on. They bought uh, the other one, uh, Ravella, and so they were investigating to everything. The problem is today, there is no rule that says how to calculate the value of a player. So what did they do? They went into Transfer Market, the site that I am using, that you are using when we want to know if a player is injured, if we want to know how much the contract is uh, uh, still valid, if we want to know how many, perform how many games did he play, how many goals, what is the position, we use that because it's a really great site, it's a super nice site, really professional, everything, but these guys, they are putting values as they want to. They 
game. Of course, they use some parameters to understand where is, is he coming from, what is the experience, what is the age, how many is he paid, what were his performances, physical condition. Of course, they are using all of that, but it's like I would do it. If I start tomorrow, beppecalcio.com, it's the same. I do it and I base values on my experience. I will try to do my best, but does that mean that I'm the Holy Bible? Absolutely not. So... When they started, and that's, oh, I, I finish with what has been said today, wait, because it was, of course, a long process in court and so on, and what happened was that the accusation was asking 12 months to Agnelli suspensions, not being able to manager, be a manager. They asked uh, eight months for Arriva Bene, eight months for Pavel Med Nedved, they asked 16 months for Paratici, and even De Laurentiis from Napoli was there with 11 months and five days. There were other clubs, not only... Juve and Napoli, they are still continuing to investigate Inter because it's not over with Inter. Probably they will give up now because Juventus solved everything with their defense of today. Yesterday, they were actually putting the accusation, what they wanted as final punishment. And then today, no, two days ago. Yesterday, Juventus, they went, because then it's the word for the defense, they went and they went to defend themselves with a lot of things. And they said, guys, you are basing your uh, things on transfer market. If we go to the interview of the guy that is actually uh, working on transfer market, he said that it's just a guy that is making a job and that is super honored that he's taking so seriously. But it's just a guy that after his work is working behind his computer. That's what he said. So they said you are basing your values or your accusation on Juventus about profit making on a side that is actually an amateur side. That's what they said. That's what they said. Then they went to some examples from also Premier League because they said, look at the uh, Amat Traore that was sold by Atalanta to Manchester United for 20 million plus so many million if he's performing well. He didn't even play five games with Atalanta. He was 19 years old when, they, when he was sold to Manchester United. At the moment, he's on loan to Glasgow Rangers. He didn't play with Manchester United. He's not playing that much with the Glasgow Rangers, but he was sold for 20 or even 25 million euro. And that's how Juventus defend themselves. How can you prove and how can you prove actually that the value is never based on maybe potential because you never know potential. One thing is sure is, we saw it so many times, Juventus wants to buy a player, they say no, they say no, we don't want to, uh, to buy it for you. I'm just giving an example. If Bologna is going for Scamacca, probably they will ask 30 million. Of course, if tomorrow on top of Bologna you have Cagliari that is coming, you have this team, you have this team, and then you have Juventus, what are they doing in Italy? They say, ah, because you are Juventus, because you have more money than Bologna, because you are ent uh, interested, because there is competition, I will sell you the player for 50 million euro. Do you want 50 million euro? No. Eh, then it's a pity for you, then we will sell him for 30 million to Bologna. That's what they are doing and that's what they always did. Look at Lotito, he doesn't care, he doesn't want to sell Milinkovic Savic to Juventus, so he's going to Manchester United, to Paris Saint-Germain for 60 million. That's okay, that's no problem. But for Juventus, they are speaking at least about 75, 80 million if they want to sell him to Juventus. So why am I pissed off? Because they want to investigate, why not? Investigate, if you think that you want to investigate, why not? That's not what I'm pissed off. Of course, I'm pissed off for that. I'm pissed off about a lot of things. One of the things is Gazzetta dello Sport, guys. I will go immediately to Gazzetta dello Sport and I will show you how they were manipulating, brainwashing the people back then. It was end of November, beginning of December. They started with, in a corner already, investigation on Juventus. Of course, always Juventus. They are never speaking about the other uh, teams. Uh, always Juventus. Investigations on Juventus. The profit case plus Valencia, Agnelli and Nedved will be investigated in Torino. And the first page is here with in, in yellow, with red written so that we are sure that we are seeing it with the pictures of Agnelli, with the picture of Nedved. Then they continue with here. It start to be a bit bigger with Juve tutto nero, Juve all black. Uh, they are speaking about the championship because we uh, about Serie A because we lost versus Atalanta. If I'm not wrong, I maybe I'm mistaken. And then profit case plus Valenza. Agnelli knew about the system. 
the club is risking and they start again the, they are already putting juventus is risking juventus is risking there is no light in the end of the tunnel that's what they are writing guys i am not inventing then they continue with juve under pressure putting actually a big big uh, thing i don't know how you call it zooming agnelli just to be sure that is a uh, that is seen with agnelli in the back with pianic because they were investigating first pianic artur they were investigating that i will read your comments in a second guy let me finish with the fourth page first that's the third one juve under pressure look at the disgusting page are they speaking about the other teams absolutely not they are speaking about juventus 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 and then you continue with earthquake juve with ronaldo because they were looking at uh, ronaldo maybe there was something more than the plus valencia and then a ball with a lot of euro with a lot of money not only the profit but also blah 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 they are investigating they are looking they are looking for a paper that disappeared of ronaldo's agreement during covid and so on and so on earthquake juve guys this is what i wanted to show you so now that juventus has been sold now that juventus received the opportunity to them defend themselves they show them what do we do uh adam is adam is great adam is fantastic guys uh, if you really want serious football talk you want to read it you want to understand you can agree or not with his opinion adam digby is fantastic hey, he knows he knows adam digby he knows guys he knows not only that but he knows the story of juve that's his book by the way that's his book here this one juventus a history in black and white by adam digby if you really want to guys Adam is Adam is a top 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 then that's why I'm pissed off that's why I'm pissed off that's why I'm not happy because look how they are brainwashing Calciopoli was based on match results and recaps of games from articles of Gazzetta dello Sport that was owned by people that were in the uh, committee of Inter that when they passed away, rest in peace, because we never wished bad to people, rest in peace, that when they were, uh, they passed away and they were put in ground, they were going with a shirt of Inter. Just to explain you a bit, who manipulated that? When they asked some questions to the judges and so on, they said, can you explain and so on and so on, what about the games? They said, yeah, we were reading La Gazzetta dello Sport, the recaps, we didn't see the game, we didn't watch the game, but Gazzetta dello Sport is a neutral paper, the most important of Italy, and so we are trusting them. That's Calciopoli, guys. This is how Calciopoli started, with big, big pages like they did now. Earthquake Juve, my friends. Juve under pressure. This is how they do. This is how they do. I'm happy, of course, that Juventus is solved and absolved. Look at that. Today, we are looking here. I will try to show you here app that's the official page now from federazione italiano uh italiana gioco calcio that is saying that uh it's over that everything is okay tutti prosciolti per l'inchiesta sulle plusvalenze fittizia all acquitted absolved for investigation on the fictitious plusvalenze profit cases it is over but who will remember that look is it looking shocking with juventus i'm sorry juventus did nothing no no there is nothing it's really teeny 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 who wants to read that nobody wants to read that page because it's small because it's in italian because it's not even a big shock title but on the other hand if you are watching the pages here these pages will remain in your head sotto pressione earthquake juve uh, agnelli knew about the system this is what will remain uh, of course inter tutto bello eh? that was from november everything is beautiful for inter but juventus everything is black eh, pay attention guys not to me not to me guys not to me then you are telling me Beppe why are you not supporting the teams in Europe from Italy I don't care I don't care mamma mia I'm pissed off I'm pissed off ciao Robin van der Voorst
But Beppe, it's not because they hate us, it's because Juve is the biggest club in Italy, and if you put them on the front cover, you will sell the most paper. Of course, of course, they are using the fame of Juventus. Of course, Maggi said the same. If Juventus is somewhere involved, of course, you will sell more paper. Why? Because we are the most hated. It's linked. We are the most loved. We are the most hated. Of course, you use the name of Juventus. Of course, eh, if you speak about, uh, I don't know, Beppe that had a fight. Uh, because uh, his wife was mocked and Beppe give a slap who cares about Beppe give a slap to another YouTuber nobody cares but if you're speaking about Will Smith eh, Will Smith pay attention pay attention then you agree you don't agree that's something else but of course or bigger you are or more people will pay attention to you or more it will be big and sensational or more you are interested on the other way who cares about Will Smith he's an actor we don't care we never met him but he's big we want to know we want to know the truth about everything what happened why did he go why he was nervous was it the wife or not whatever whatever of course but it's because they hate they hate they hate Marian they use Juventus in the first page because we are a strong team with a lot of followers they make more money by downgrading and putting the clubs on the spot of course but tomorrow and maybe now they know because we are exposing them but tomorrow what will they do in small because it's not the first time i can go back into archive they will go in small juventus absolved no worries it's okay or maybe in page 13 but what remains in the head and why am i pissed off because still today i have to hear that juventus were doing match fixing and that's why they were sent in Serie B. it's not true find me find me legal papers that were proving that juventus were fixing games in 2004 2005 2006 there is no match fixing there is not there is only one and it's involving parma and another team i believe you have not wrong but it has nothing to do with juventus they were absolutely not even linked to that game it was not a question of that game that's the only one the other games of juventus they went through one by one by one by one no but today in 2022 like nearly 20 years later, I still have to hear that Juventus was doing match fixing. I still have to hear that Juventus were doping, giving drugs to their players to perform better. Eh, in the times from back with Cannavaro and so on, the first time with Cannavaro. That's what I have to hear. That's what I have to hear. Why? They were actually absolved. Why? There was nothing. They did like this. They did so many cases about Juventus. And that gives me really, really, really anger. Philippe Singh Beppe, nine scudet in a row, speaks louder than any of these newspapers. We are bigger than Schenter. Yes, it's true. But it's not about the nine uh, Scudetto. Huh? We have 38. We have not nine. We have 38. And the first time they succeeded. And I'm pissed off. And that's why I want to talk about what's happening. I want to open your eyes. Because today we are absolved. But do you think it's the last time? Ah, no. They will continue. Instead of working on what has to be done. So that Italy is going back uh, to, to the World Cup. Instead of working on the youth de uh, development. So that we have again this Del Piero, Totti all these players and no no they don't care that only roma is the only european team they don't care that premier league is having six billion euro for four years instead of italy with 600 million that's 10 times less guys allegro was talking about it today in press conference about that they don't care. They don't want to take ownership in of their own mistake. They prefer to find someone to blame, to put the to put the blame on, to find them guilty, to destroy them instead of working on their own problems. That's the truth. That's the truth. Cristiano, you will have to go back uh, to the beginning of the video. Thank you for being here, but I can't repeat everything since uh, how long? Uh, 25 minutes. That's not possible. Uh, AC Milan, uh, yeah, but uh, if you want to speak about AC Milan, guys, all respect for what they are doing, eh? but we knew that that time would come. Why? Because apparently there are maybe, I'm not sure because I'm not following all the things of Milan, but new owners that will enter, that will buy back and there are owners, if I'm not wrong, from Bahrain uh, with some money that wants to go. But it was written that it would happen like that. Elliot is an investigation company. Um, an, investigation. They are. In, it's an investment company. So they are investing money 
they are putting everything on track, they are growing the brand, they are growing the value, and then they sell. That's what they are doing. Pay attention, huh? because now in France, in L'Equipe, they start to understand, is there a link between Elliot being managed and managing Lille and Elliot managing Milan? Is there a link? Is there a link? I am exposing them since weeks, since months, since maybe a year. I said, pay attention. Guys, how is it possible? Mignon, 16 million to Milan, from Lille to Milan. They're speaking about Leao, I don't know how much, 10 million, I don't know, not even, from Lille to Milan. They are speaking about Botman, great defenders for Lille. They are speaking about Renato Sanchez, guys. Is there a link between Elliot being owner of Lille and Milan at the same time? Is there something, guys? Ah, we don't know. Let's focus on Juventus doing profit with young players. <laughs> That's because they are not speaking about it on the Italian papers. Huh? We had to go on the French papers in L'Equipe of today. You don't believe me? You, I know you don't believe me. I know you don't believe me. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I will show you guys. It's easy. You ask, we show you. And I don't want to speak about Milan too much because I don't care about that. So if you are going to L'Equipe here... It's not even the front pages, huh? L'équipe here. Le fonds d'investissement Elliott contrôle-t-il le LOSC en plus du Milan? The invest... investigation. Investment fund of Elliott. Are they controlling also Lille, LOSC? On top of Milan, yes or no, UEFA starting to interesting them about the owner of Lille and the funds that they receive from Elliott and blah, 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 blah. Hey, guys. But in Italy, are they speaking about Milan and these kind of strange deals? If you are asking, you ask me, Beppe, why don't uh, Juventus go for Renato Sanchez? I told you, forget about it. They want to go with, uh, uh, with Milan because it's the same, of course. Milan has a more bigger exposure than Lille. So what they are doing is... They put to Milan their best players for a small price. They grow, they grow the brand, and then they are able to sell them for more money to new owners like the ones of Bahrain that will probably buy them. Then, uh, I don't care. I knew it would come. I'm not, I'm not surprised at all. I didn't know who, I didn't know when, but look, it's happening. So, yes. Um... No, Bundesliga, I don't like, I don't like. Uh, Bahrain Group is trying to buy Milan. Apparently, yes, apparently, yes. Manchester City does the same thing with feeder clubs, but nobody talks about them. Eh, what, the moment they, they tried to expose Manchester City, they were into inv uh, investigations and so on and so on. At the end, they said, there is nothing, it's okay, continue. Eh, I remember that summer when Guardiola was not speaking because maybe he could have come to Juve if he was free from Manchester City because there was a, there was a clause that if he was not in Champions League he could have le he could leave Manchester City and then magically there everything appeared. Pay attention to Paris Saint Germain. What are they doing, guys? Guys, but who is on the first pages? It's Juventus every time. Ciao, Julian. Ciao, Ali. Hey, Alvin, I'm here, but I will not stay long. Huh? So, guys, I n I'm not staying long because it's the middle of the day, but I, I was really angry, happy, relieved, because, again, Juventus was not guilty, as I already knew, because how can you prove the value of a young player? Guys, if, if for example, okay, this shirt, this shirt of Chiesa, okay, this shirt of Chiesa, today, the value when you buy it in store is uh, this one from Vlaovic. It's uh, ex more expensive because it's authentic. This one is fan version from the side. So fan version is like 100, 100 euro plus the name plus this plus this. It's 130 30 euro. Okay, value. Of course, I was wearing it. So if I was wearing it, it's not new anymore. So instead of 130, maybe, maybe, I'm just saying it's like 90 euro, 80 euro, depending if there are some scratches, some things, some tag, but let's see, are all the tags on it? Yes or no? Of course you can say, eh, but Beppe was wearing it. He signed it up, oh, the value increased. At the end, if I want to sell it or not, it's my decision. If I want to put it online for thousand euro and someone wants to buy it for thousand euro, they do. If not, eh, then it's over. So it's, L'offre et la demande. 
the offer and the request. It's always like that. This is the fundamental of uh, business. Guys, now that we spoke about it, I'm pissed off. Luka Modric, I prepared something from uh, Luka Modric this morning because I wanted to do the video, but I was waiting, I'm waiting. So what were they saying? It was on one football. Let me go to one football so that we can... Uh, I prepared everything in pictures. Now I will have to go back to the site so that we can see them together. Guys, we will rush through the news because uh, I, want to, uh, um, I want to continue the, the rest of my day. So one football reports Juventus offers a deal to Ballon d'Or. We know that Luka Modric is 36, will be 37 in September. So beginning of next season, 37, he will be a free agent at the end of this year. He didn't find a club. He didn't extend yet with Real Madrid. Apparently, they are saying that Juventus could have offered him a two years loan. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We saw the beautiful images with him and Del Piero and so on and so on. Great, great player, immense player. Are we missing a bit of creativity? Yes, a lot. Is Modric someone that could solve these problems? Yes, absolutely. But do we want to go for a free agent that is 37 guys pay attention pay attention pay attention i don't know i don't know of course if he would come that's beautiful and uh it will help of course juventus but uh at the moment i would prefer to to check if there are other possibilities we know that it's hard huh? Jorginho is linked with um with chelsea and their problems then you have uh what's the name uh, Pogba is salary, Milinkovic Savage is the other one. Ciao Cecilia, ciao Luis, ciao uh, Abdullah. No, Mbappé will not come to you. Federazione Italiano Gioco Calcio FIGC is trying to take the story away from themselves by going after teams. Uh, probably, yes. Ciao Rad. They didn't say there is uh, nothing with Manchester City. The issue was that the evidence was collected in a wrongful way. Yeah course yeah but at the end nothing happened but you're you're correct thomas are the rival clubs involved uh, in the anti uva agenda or are they uh, are they uh, directly working on behind the scene that's a big question i can't answer that bad is going up 10 times eh. Buongiorno Paul, buongiorno Philippe, honestly I would take that two-year contract about Modric um, and maybe he trains our young mids, of course. I don't know if I would do it, but the voices about him, they are there. So that was one, then of course, uh, the new shirt, guys, I wanted to show you the new shirt, Bings, here has been revealed, uh, it's not a leak anymore, it's not spoiling anymore, it is official, it is on the site, you can buy it starting at 100 euro, then if you want to put the name, it's 10 euro more for personalization, and then uh, you can put a badge and whatever you want. So I bought it. I made a choice this morning. Until 11 a.m. it was only Italian time. It was only for the uh, people that uh, were member of the channel. Member. Uh, that were, how do you say, when uh, you subscribe to the site and so on. Uh, for On my Juve, you could log in with your credential and then buy the shirt. And then it was for everyone to enter so that they can limit actually the big, big, big mass of people and uh, shutting down the site. Uh, but we spoke already a lot about the shirt. Uh, it's beautiful to see now the pictures. I bought it. I bought it. Uh, look at uh, uh, Arthur Locatelli. We have the women teams represented here, Morata, Cecilia Salvai, that's the artist, Cobra, a Brazilian street artist that is doing crazy things, uh, Paolo Di Bala, um, Rosucci, we have Morata again, Salvai, Ken, Locatelli, and so on, and so on, and so on, beautiful pictures. Beautiful pictures. I like the shirt. I already told you why do I like the shirt. Because it's a four shirt. It's a four shirt with a history in it. Look, I really like uh, I really like it. I, I personally really like it. Uh, for a four shirt. Something special that I will be happy to have in my collection. If you want to see also the back of the shirt. For the people that were not able to see the, the back. Let's go on the, on the side so that we can see the pictures of the back of the shirt. Uh, where is it? Here you can see. That's the back of the shirt. Then you can put a name. Do you know who I bought? Probably already know for the people that are on our Telegram. Uh, how was your day? Good, the good, but I was pissed off. Uh, I've already bought Quadrado. Quadrado is the next topic that we have to speak about. Uh, I bought that player, guys. Giocatori. 
Hop. I bought. I bought Zakaria, my friends. Hmm. Great player. What a player. What a player. I said it immediately. Eh? For me, that's a big, 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 big midfielder that we bought there. So I'm super happy. I bought Zakaria, my friends. Um, I can't wait. It should arrive on Tuesday because you know that there's Eastern on Monday. Uh, nothing will work here in Italy or in Belgium. Uh, so, so let's see. People are saying full speed on uh, with Super League. Mm, Forza Juve, you have to understand one thing that is really important is that Super League has nothing to do with the Serie A, with the Premier League, with all these kind of things. Uh, why? Because it has been said already in the first proposal, and they will continue with the other proposal, that they don't go away from their league. They continue to play Serie A and all the other leagues. It's just that they will not participate to Champions League, but they will make their own Super League with a lot of top European clubs. That's something. You don't have, first of all, Nevio, if you want to join, you can, but you don't have to spoil. If you write four or five times or six times the same question, then I will not tell you to enter the Telegram group. So not spoiling is the first rule. Then if you are a bit alert, you can go into the description of the video and you will see there is somewhere a link to enter the Telegram group. Really easy to enter. Um... Yeah, I wanted to buy him for next season, but I went for this season. Who bought Who bought the shirt already uh, in the chat? Is there a, at least someone that bought the shirt already? Let us know. I'm curious. Uh, no, 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 no. Last year, I bought the fourth shirt with Cuadrado, and he play, He even scored two goals, a Braves versus Inter. So that's, that's myth. That's true that on the first shirt, when I buy the first shirt... Uh, sometimes they go no sometimes they always go injured that's that's something else huh um no 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 they are playing well they are playing well guys um mm. quadrado that's a beautiful choice and today he extended by the way so can we go to the news of quadrado extension that's a beautiful one so uh, I can give you the details. And for the people that do not know, I can give you the details about uh, Juan Cuadrado. Uh, but I have to pay attention because I can't just choose um, eh, here something with videos because then they will ban my channel. So what do we see? We see Cuadrado Rinovo. Renewal for Cuadrado. Nevio bought McKenny Grande. I was, I, you know, I was hesitant between McKenny and uh, Quadrado. Um, McKenny and Zakaria, I went for uh, McKenny. Ciao, Jacopo! Jacopo is there. Ah, grande, grande, Jack, grande. Look at that. Let, let me say thank you to, uh, to uh, Jack, to, ja to Jacopo. Thank you. Hey, grande Jacopo. I'm happy that we have Jacopo in the chat. Look at that. Look at that. What a beautiful man. The most beautiful uh, profile picture on the YouTube world. Uh, so we have here uh, Quadrado. No, before speaking about Quadrado, let's go to something. Because the power of this channel is immense. Yesterday night, we celebrated the birthday of Mattia Sule. Do you remember the birthday of Mattia Sule yesterday night? Because it's today, the birthday of Sule. We said, and I asked you guys, let's put a maximum of happy birthday to Sule. I will take a screenshot and I will send him because you know that I, I'm speaking with Mattia Sule. And that's what we did. And I sent him. Look at that. I've sent him. Here, the screenshot with all the happy birthday. We see Gabriel Vivar, we see Dino, he's there. We see a lot of people, and Mista, all the people that were writing. And I said, in Spanish, un mensaje de la chat por tu cumple, hermano. A message from the chat for your birthday, my brother. Enjoy a lot, I hope, and then in Italian, I hope that you love it. And he, he was laughing, he said, Che grande, amazing, grazie mille, thank you very much. So you have the big, big, big thank you for from Matthias Sule uh, on his Instagram here. So he was super happy that uh, we wished him a happy birthday. I wanted to tell you because yesterday we were, I asked you to do the happy birthday to, uh, to him, you did, and he saw it and he said thank you. That's important. So Quadrado, renewal, guys. 
There were a lot of stories, huh? There were a lot, a lot, a lot of stories about Quadrado. Will he renew? Will he not renew? We start with chronological order. Paolo Di Bala doesn't renew. He will not renew. I know that some people, they are still hoping that something is over, guys. Give up now that it's on time. You know, the five stages to acceptance, you should start being in the acceptance uh, now. You have to accept it because it's a reality. Uh, Paolo Di Bala will not renew with Juventus. It's over. Then they extended Mattia Perin. Great. From 2.5 million salary going to 1.4. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Mattia Perin. That's super important because we are saving money here. Big decision, courageous decision from Mattia Perin that is saying I'm continuing three years because I prefer to fight and to be the second goalkeeper at Juventus uh, and fighting for going towards, again, new successes and then having the opportunity maybe to play a bit more games and so on. Every time that he's playing, is giving me security. I'm happy. I'm super happy with that. Ciao, Steve Cano as well. Um, no, no, that's. I'm not the reason why Vlaovic started to slow down. By the way, he didn't slow down. You are guys inventing that he slowed down. Tomorrow, make him captain of your fantasy league because tomorrow he scores minimum two, minimum two, if not three. This is for free. Eh? I give you that advice for free. Mark my words tomorrow with the new shirt, Blavich scores. If not two, he's going to three. Mark my words, take me by word, and then you will see. So, Quadrado, I repeat, there was a saying, we were not sure, we were speaking about it. From the moment that he would hit this season 40 appearances with Juventus, Across all competition, he would have an automatic renewal until a year more with the same salary. He's earning 5 million a year for Quadrado, he's 33, he will celebrate 34 next year. Hitting 40 appearances this season, automatically renew. Juventus, according to the rumors, it's always according to the rumors, guys, they wanted to extend him even more, but with lower salary, okay? So instead of one year, maybe two years with a bonus of a net third year, maybe, or whatever, I don't know, but at least two years, maybe with lower numbers, maybe with a three million salary, three and three, six, so at the end, Quadrado would have had two years, so it's one year more, and would have had more money, but instead of doing it in one year, it's two years. I don't know what happened. I don't know if together they decided to do it only for one year. I don't know if Juventus said, you know what, we give you one year and then we will see. I don't know if it's Quadrado that said, I'm enough with one year and maybe then I will go back in Colombia. I don't know. He will not play to the World Cup because Colombia is, has not qualified to the World Cup. So he will be fresh for Juventus. One more year. Am I happy? Yes, because Quadrado deserves to be one more year at Juventus. We need him, one that has a bit of creativity, that is playing offensively, that conquered my heart because in the beginning I was not 100% convinced of him. I'm happy for Quadrado. I think it's also smart for Juventus. Look at that. Paolo Di Bala, we stop. Mattia Perin, you want to sign? Fine, not for 2.5. You go with the half of your money. Are you happy? Yes, we continue. Quadrado, you are the next one. You are happy. You want to go for two years, but you want five, five? No, we give you one year. Happy? Yes, let's go. And then the next in line will be the fisherman. The fisherman, who's the fisherman? Yeah, you, you will probably ask yourself, who is the fisherman, Beppe? What are you talking about? Again, I will show you who is the fisherman. The fisherman is this guy here. Wait, that's the video of now, of course. That's the fisherman. Let me go to the fisherman. Where is he? Ah, the press conference, guys, in the Telegram group, I'm always, always, always doing the transfer, uh, the, what's the name? The translation of the, of the press conference. Here is the fisherman. That's the third one, the fisherman. Mattia De Ciglio, he should be the third one. And also him will be a rotation player, a bench player that will lower his salary. And you wanna stay? Fine for us. You can play on the left, you can play on the right. You are never discussing. You are bringing something to the team, but you are not a starter. And sometimes you are even injured. We are lowering your salary. And then we are done with the renewals except of one it is Bernardeschi what do we do with Bernardeschi 
at the moment there are no updates on Bernardeschi. No updates. No updates. The Licht, the Licht from the moment that we solve all the renewals that are really hot, we will speak about the Licht, guys. Not me, eh? Juventus will start again with the league because you know that his contract will end in 2024. So we'll have to start thinking about a decision for the league. Eh? Um, guys, uh, for the people, shirts, for the people that are telling me, bah, bah, I preferred Kappa. Kappa is the goat of the shirt. Kappa, Kappa is much better than Adidas. Kappa is only doing beautiful shirts. Kappa did a shirt for uh, Evian, uh, a French team. If someone tells me again that uh, Kappa is consistently delivering goat shirts, I will show him that image. Then, taste. Sometimes some people will love that shirt of Evian. My and, and I drink Evian, my friends. Guys, I drink Evian. With all the respect. With all the respect. Kappa. It is what it is, guys. And people, I, I tell you, people, they want a Kappa. I know, I know, I know, I know, guys, I know. Um, some. If it happens, I go to court myself. But what are you speaking about, guys? You're speaking about I don't know what since like uh, hours. Uh, I can't even follow. Who can do me a recap between Sam, Mikalev, Sami, Bujema, Ryan, Saliba? You're all speaking about I don't know what. Uh, I can't follow. Uh, Ciao, Nuka. There is uh, no reason to renew Bernardeschi. I have no idea what he brings to the team. Big question, big question, guys. Wait, was there something more I wanted to talk before stopping? Mattia Perry in 2025, we spoke. Quadrado 2023, we spoke. The fact that I was pissed off, we spoke. That was the 31st minute of the video. Um, hey, guys, I wanted to show you something else. Uh, yesterday, the goat, the goat, the goat. Who's the goat? It's Allegri, guys. I want to show you. Wait. Massimiliano Allegri, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday Massimiliano Allegri was, uh, he was with the team, he was training, and uh, there were some really beautiful images of him. Um, can we see it or not? I don't know if we see them, but yesterday the coach was uh, on fire. I don't know if we are able to see them, the pictures. No, we, we can't here. I, I had prepared them with screenshots, but uh, I can't find them. Mm. I can't, I can't. It is what it is, guys. So let, let's stay uh, together more, 10 more minutes. Maybe this evening I come back because today, today we will know a bit more. Eh? Don't forget today there is, there are two games. One will start in 45 minutes, my friends. I hope you are ready. There are no games on uh, Sunday. There are no games on Sunday, but there are games today already. Uh, and two big games, to be honest. Uh, we have um, Spezia versus Inter. Now, in 45 minutes, and then Milan versus Genoa at 9, so two hours later. It will be back-to-back -back games. Probably we'll do a recap uh, a recap of that. That would be a beautiful one. Um, yeah, Dino is asking me, Beppe, maybe, maybe. Depends, because also I need to play also with my son, uh, but of course not. I don't know what time, but we will try to do that. <laughs> So these are the two games. Then tomorrow, Serie A, we have Cagliari Sassuolo. We start. That can be a potentially beautiful, nice game. Uh, Udinese Empoli, if you don't want to sleep uh, at uh, 2.30, do something else. Sampdoria, Salernitana would be the same. Fiorentina, Venezia. I don't care. And then Juventus, Bologna. I will be live at 6.30, by the way. I will be live for Juventus uh, Bologna on Twitch of Juventus starting 45 no 30 minutes before the game so 6 p.m. Italian time I will be live and then Lazio Torino Sunday there are no games uh, for Italy in Italy and then a big game Napoli Roma followed by Atalanta Verona on Monday um, do you think guys that today 
one of the two teams can lose. Let me do a final poll about Inter and Milan. So today, uh, will some l drop points today? Inter, Milan, none of them or both. You have four choices, guys. Who will drop points? Not what you want, because eh, if we have to go with what we want, we will probably say uh, both of them. But who do you realistically think? I repeat you, Inter will play versus Spezia and then Milan will play versus Ge Genoa. Milan that comes from 2-0-0 and Inter that comes from a robbery or a, ma a game uh, won versus Juventus with Irati as a top scorer, uh, with a referee Irati. And then <coughs> they won 2-0 versus uh, Verona. If I'm not wrong. So, yeah, Verona. Uh, there are some news, meanwhile. The news in the Telegram group. Grande Mo. Mo El Shahal is working day and night. The guy is never sleeping. He said, the tested lineups of the eve of Juve Bologna are Chesney into the goal, De Ciglio, De Ligt, Quad De Ligt, Chiellini, Pellegrini. So De Ciglio on the right, Pellegrini on the left, De Ligt and Chiellini. So that means that Danilo and Bonucci will be starting in Coppa Italia on Wednesday. Then Danilo Rabio, eh no, Danilo Rabio Quadrado. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Danilo Rabio. Two man midfield. Quadrado di Bala Morata and Vlaovic on top. Danilo Rabio. That's a bit strange. That's a bit strange because today Allegri said if we go with two men midfield, we have Zakaria and uh, Rabiot that will play. If we go with three men midfield, probably someone will be added there and it's probably Danilo. I don't know, guys. Strange for me. Two men midfield with uh, Danilo is strange. Guys, that would be really strange. Boo. That's strange. Yeah, 4 2 3 1 with Danilo Rabiot. Boo. That's really strange. Then, I don't know. But Bologna that did 0-0 versus Milan and that won their home game. Pay attention. But guys, uh, no, I'm a bit surprised. Uh, I'm a bit surprised if I if that's the correct one because it's not because it's tested the eve before that that will be the official one. Huh? Um, yes, official. I knew already has been communicated 25th of April at 8.45, so in the evening, that will be the game versus Sassuolo on a Monday. It's correct. Uh, so, guys, uh, next weekend there will be no Juventus, but it will be on Monday. Paul, Inter will lose and Milan will tie. Uh, I like that. I take, I take, of course, we have to win eh, versus Bologna, otherwise it makes nothing. But I take, I take. Uh, Maric, Maric is saying the midfield. Eh. Zac no, Zachary, I don't know. But uh, hopefully he plays tomorrow. I just bought his shirt. Allegri, Allegri, Allegri. Make him play because I just spent 140 euro for the shirt. Allegri, at least make him play. Make him play. Uh, yeah, guys. Um, Danilo will play defensive midfield. Yes, no, of Miretti, I was not even doubting. It was reported that he was he had a small, 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 tiny injur injury. So uh, he was not even ready. I didn't see him starting the game. I knew that. I was not doubting. But if we would have played with two midfielders, I was thinking it was Zakaria and, uh, and Rabiot. Of course, don't forget Zakaria. He comes from an injury and immediately he had to anticipate and playing versus Inter already in the first half. So can be that he's resting for Fiorentina. Can be. Can be, eh? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. A 4 3. Not uh, uh, how it has been written by Romeo Agresti. Eh? If you see uh, the points there, Chesney, then it's top, then it's De Ciglio, De Ligt, Chiellini, Pellegrini, four men. And then they start again with Danilo Rabiot, stop, Quadrado di Bala Morata, stop, Vlaovic, 4 2 3 1. That's how it was tested today. Uh, then, of course, you can do whatever you want there. Uh, 
Rad, I, you know Allegri uh, how I always want a good card on the bench. Uh, that was, that's one of the biggest problems this season, that uh, we don't have a lot of cards on the bench. So, of course, uh, having some players there, like a Zakaria and so on, can, can be important. Because if you are playing all of them, you, you have a problem. Uh... Allegri would use Perini in midfield before a young player. Yes, that's true. That's true. Uh, Beppe, how about Joao Felix from Atletico or Nkunku? But why are you speaking always about uh, impossible things? Nkunku will go to uh, Manchester United, according to some rumors. Uh, and Joao Felix, uh, we will not buy him. The fourth kit from 2019 was top. It was the Palace one. Uh, Palace one was a beast, beast, beast. And Kuku is strong. I agree. Yeah. Then we have uh, uh, Cecilia. Rabiot is a strong and never gets injured. And that's a good thing. We need a player like him. The thing is that I would love to have all the players like Rabiot in terms of physical condition. Always there playing game in, game out. Uh, sometimes he, he falls asleep into the game. That's another story. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's true. We can say whatever we want. He's in the top five of the most used players of Allegri this season. Eh? Top five. I saw it in uh, in uh, Tuto Sport. Uh, Danilo playing, allowing, yeah, changes on the bench. It's true. Uh, it's true. It's correct. It's a way. It's a way of seeing it. I agree, uh, because then you have a Zakaria, and then you have probably also a Miretti. But I don't know if Miretti is able to play or not, guys. Huh? I know that he didn't train yesterday with the team. I know that he had a small injury, not something serious, huh? but was not sure. So, hey, guys, we have to do with what we have to do. When you have Arthur, Locatelli, McKenny out, when you have Chiesa, Caio Jordi, at a certain moment, you play with the players that are there. Uh, tested lineups never ending the actual lineup it's true except of last week last week the one that was tested was also the right one so you see it in the words of Romeo Agresti sometimes he's saying it's like predicted lineup most of the time he's saying tested lineup it's not that Romeo Agresti is going with I think we will play like that no it's a tested lineup a tested lineup doesn't mean that it's the one that will play tomorrow but that was the last one that was tested yesterday let me check if we uh eh, we grew with three new people I don't know who but three new people joined the telegram group we are now at 721 thank you guys Thank you. Thank you, guys. I love that. I love that. So, that's it. One hour of video. Guys, uh, still two minutes to go. I will probably come back tonight. I will watch uh, some football now. Uh, is there still something that we missed to speak about? I don't know. Uh, let me check in my uh, notes. Quadrado. Federazione. We spoke about Sule. The birthday. Zagnolo, we didn't speak about Zagnolo, but we can go back on that. Modric, we did, we did everything that I prepared. That's enough. Let me try to show you a picture. Uh, share screen. Select a screen. Uh, ah, I can do it. Look at that. Look at that. Allegri. Eh. You see, I'm not lying, eh, guys. I prepared a lot of things. Huh? Look. Ayuve, oh, my Freddy. Mon amour. Mon amour. Mamma mia. With the last minute donation. The first of the afternoon. Eh, mamma mia. Alf Alfredo. Uh, my Freddy, mon amour. That is back. Absolve me, Beppe, for my sins. But first, before absolving you, my Freddy, I should put you with all my power on all the front pages uh, of Italy. That's the first thing that we have to do. Uh, like this. Wait, 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 Paolo. First of all, I, I need to go like this. Terremoto, my Freddy. So my Freddy, sotto pressione. Uh, you, my Freddy, tutto nero. Inchiesta su my Freddy. First I do that and then I can say hey, actually everything was okay. Everything was okay. Look at the picture I had. Mamma mia. 
Eh, guys, guys, look at that, look at that, that is beautiful, beautiful. Arriva bene, arriva bene, he's doing a, a lot of great things for Juventus, pay attention. Joel, I love Juventus so much, I love you, Joel. Uh, that was the front page of today with Corriere dello Sport, where they were they saying, c'è solo la Roma, in Europe only Roma. Uh, then... We continue with other pages. Quadrado 2023, beautiful graphic from Goal. Goal.it is doing really beautiful graphics. Eh? Ultimately, that was a really nice thing from Juventus to announce the extension of Quadrado. This one uh, is, uh, I saved it. Eh? I saved it because this one will be important when the anti-Juve world will say that we are uh, disgusting. So people were saying in the vote, will some drop points today? 22% said Inter will drop, only Inter. Milan only 19% were saying only Milan, 29% were saying none of them, and both 29%. So you are really hesitant, eh? hesitant about who will lose points. At the moment, nobody's winning, so we'll do like that. It is what they did, we don't care. Here we are, smiling management. Arriva Ben is looking at the stars. He's looking at the stars. He's looking at the stars. And he's saying... Thank you. Thank you. That's what they are saying. Look at that. Gol. Chiama gol. Uh, that was the front page of today of uh, Gazzetta dello Sport. Matthias Sule is celebrating his birthday. That was the picture of a few days ago where he was 12th, I believe, in next gen. Shirts. Paolo Di Bala, the last uh, presentation because he will not present the new shirt because he will not extend. And then, uh, hey, you can do wrong. Uh, Ten Hag can be the new trainer of Manchester United. And he already said, hey, if you want to go, go. I don't need you. Hey, that's a harsh one. Eh? That's so harsh one. That was a contratacco Juve uh, with Ravella. Juventus is fourth in the historical... Uh, historical thing of uh, of the ranking of a Champions League with 250 points so that means that instead of collecting 30 million we will collect, collect 33 million 3 million like that I love I love that tutto su Zaccaria and Rabio il lanciato e il rilanciato they are speaking about the two men midfield but apparently uh, they tested Danilo and then after Eastern they will go for Raspadori because on Monday the 25th at 8.45, we will play in the Mape Stadium in their home and we will talk again about Raspadori. And then we will try also to go for that guy here. Now, well, Molina that is playing on the right. Pay attention. Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. That was it for me today. One hour and three minutes. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Cam. First of all, let me play a song for uh, my Freddy. Let me play a song. Ale, 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 oh, sono un ultra bianco nero, thank you, grazie Paolo, uh, it's going to be the last year for Quadrado in 2023, I think so, I think so, Julian, it's funny that you always say another 10 minutes and you go on for like another 40 minutes, uh, when I talk about you, the guys, uh, I can do that uh, all night long. 115 likes, that's not bad. An afternoon with 150 likes. Grande, so now we say goodbye to Paolo, to Maric, Jacob, Lorenzo, Ryan, Robin, Liam, Thomas, Martin, KM, Tamid. Eh, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Hey, please, mamma mia, I have to back. You know what, before I, before I quit, I was looking in the statistics. I was looking in the stats, the statistics of YouTube. And you know that there are some people, some people, they are watching the video, they don't even subscribe. They don't subscribe. And they watch the video. Who are you? Where are you? Why? Why? Why are you not using your, your, your finger? Put a maximum of subscribe, of like, or whatever you want. You watch the video. I know you watch the videos. Who are you? Tell me who you are. Mamma mia, disaster. You are watching, you don't subscribe. What is happening? Mamma mia. Put the, put the subscribe. Put the subscribe, guys. 
I try to do my best. I come on live in the afternoon, in the morning, in the evening, in the night. I never sleep. You don't put the subscribe. You don't put the... Why? Ex give me a reason. Why? Ah, Crini Singh, sono gli interisti. It's the interista. It can, can be, can be. Don't subscribe. If you are an inter fan... No, it's not true. It's not true. You can subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. No worries. Inter... Eh, inter spice. Eh. It's easy, eh? I subscribed Uncle Sharma, I think. You see? Martin even subscribed to Uncle Sharma. Have to subscribe. Can be. I, I think it's also a lot of Tottenham, uh, a lot of Tottenham fans. The Tottenham fans, they are there. Uh, it's true. It's true. Guys, no, seriously. Uh, ciao, Siamak. Uh, Ryan, Siamak, Maric, Nevio. Uh, that just joined the Telegram group. Uh, Kryn, Liam, Radovan, everyone. Grazie, forza, Juve. Ciao, guys. Buonanotte. And see you after the games. Huh? Ciao.